Most of us wouldn't like to admit it, but at some point in our lives, there was a moment where we got a little bit excited by trains. For me, the dream died at the age of seven, when I broke my model train set trying to recreate the final scene from Back to the Future 3. The East Lancashire Railway is run by a dedicated group of volunteers who never let that excitement die, and I've come to discover just why they give up their free time to keep the railway running. I'm a guard on the East Lancashire Railway, I've been a guard for 20 years. Our main duties are the safety of passengers, to ensure the train is correctly coupled to the loco and that the passengers are well looked after in their journeys. I had a keen interest all my life. Uh, I grew up near a railway. Probably my first memories are of, of trains going by at the bottom of the garden. So that's where it all stemmed from. You may think it's a dull job. It isn't. Because a lot of it is public relations. Which way do I go to Berry? Where's the toilets? I've lost my little child. He's only four, do you pay? And we put a lot of emphasis. All right, that's the job for clipping the tickets, getting the fares, because we need the money. Just see your tickets sir, please. But the Probably. emphasis on the travelling ticket inspector, TTI as they call it, uh, is on public relations. I do it because I like it. I like trains, like helping people, and it gives me something to do. When I retired from the police force, I didn't want to become a cabbage watching the uh, television day in, day out. So that's what I've been here since uh, since 96. And if I didn't uh, enjoy it. The customers, very, very thankful. Very, very few arguments with them. And uh, I usually, if they, if they come up, I usually say, are you going to pay? No. Have you got a card? No. Get off. And that's the end of it. That's public relations. In 1982 I started here, I started off the track and I went to become a cleaner and then make your way up to a path cleaner and then you can fire when you turn and then you become a cleaner. Then you, you train up again and become a path sorry, fire so you become a path fireman and that means you can drive when that does not make sense. And then you become a driver and you just put your way up higher and higher. I have all the hobbies, they all end up behind the railway though. <laughs> yes, I'm a model layout in the loft when I get time to see it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was a fireman in the old days on the steam railway. So, when it was all steam, I was a fireman. So, it's like nostalgia for me, really. Come full circle. And I've been interested in train system with Jay Hyde. But I'm from Wigan and uh, Derek's from Rochdale, so. He comes from Pemberton, you know, it's very posh area. Yeah, posh area. The Salvation Army band, that's the string section. <laughs> my 20 years in 2013. Fingers crossed. Passengers even. We get some passengers as well. The uh, steam gauge, obviously. Yeah. Steam gauge. That's how much steam we got going through the um, 
coaching the present moment. Yeah. And of course, there's the, uh, the black stuff there, the, the Texas me, <laughs> the gold stuff, you know. People say, where do you get your coal from? You say, well, kind of a coal mine, you know. You know. Uh, myself, certainly, I got passed out to be a driver about three weeks ago. And this young man here is, uh, is a trainee fireman. You've got quite a few young people at the railway, luckily, so I hope they're bringing the new generation of people. Yeah, enjoy it, so we're all volunteers, so we don't get paid for it, so we're all doing it for our own fun of it. It's just a thrill of uh, just being on a local that's over like 60, 70 years old and doing what he used to do in the olden days and stuff. Just, uh, just something in your blood when you got it. You know. uh, in the last 12 months we've had quite a number of young people uh, that are volunteering, uh, like encourage them. Yeah, I, I enjoyed steam and because I was brought up with it. Uh, it's as simple as that. ground because I like to talk to people and meet people and uh, sort of establish that they're happy and such things you know. Someone once said volunteers aren't paid not because they are worthless but because they are priceless. The people I met on the East Lanks Railway love what they do and such enthusiasm and passion is infectious. <laughs> In a world that seems to be pulling itself apart in financial chaos, I find it heartwarming to realise that there's still people out there who are willing to work hard just because they enjoy it. Stood at the altar and prepared to sing the 